I want you to know that you can be like... Hey, monk. No need to brag of your faith. Have you recently tested your faith? Considered the holy path? It is a better way, I swear to you. I am content with my gods. Not as content as I am with mine, I am sure. He allows me to avoid rage. I am never angry. Never. Good for you. Without anger in my life, I am completely changed. No longer obsessed with riches like you. They are meaningless because he loves me. Go ahead and burn my house. Destroy my belongings. I will never get angry. I want you to know that you can be like me. No longer dumb and angry like Ethan's. Yes, burn it down. Make a pyre of the past. Yes, go ahead and destroy my crates and take my belongings inside them. God provide, you see. I am not angry. Make yourself at home. It does not bother me. You will soon change from your pagan ways. Go ahead. Destroy more. My faith cannot be broken. For sending this devil to test my faith. and slaughter my life and all of this homestead the livestock this is all yours they are not mine but gods i have converted to god and now i share all things yes you mentioned that curious good man what were you before you became so devout i was just like you a stupid heathen lost and violent Speaking of which, you should try praying before it is too late. Too late? For what? The eternal buckery you possess? Now you stand. I worry that stool is covered in shit. What is this? Oh no, that's... I mean, that key. Do what you like with it. Throw it in the river. This hut reeks. As if... a battlefield. Corpses. These your other converts or your past crimes. You desecrate my integrity by insinuating such. But my faith cannot be desecrated. Praise be to my lord. Praise be to nothing. What crimes lie beneath your veil of Christ? What crimes have you gotten away with? You are no convert. You are a filthy opportunist. The church gave you riches. I am a strong, Christian, mild-mannered man of the cloth. My pagan past is gone. I am... A hypocrite. With not a shred of honor. You should pay for your crimes. People die unjustly in your newfound faith. I gave you a chance, heathen. I am a better, richer man for what I did. I changed course and... Fuck it! I am still the blood-hungry whore I once was! Fucking die, you putrid shit-eater! Die a thousand ways and times like the others! 
You would have sworn an oath to a pile of shit, you liar. Full of false pride. You should be judged at an alding for your crimes. Those willing to give everything away are often those who have taken too much. Stranger. Excuse me, I have a slight pain. Do you notice anything on my head? It's a, an itch or a cut that simply won't go away. It appears to be a, a battle scar. Ah, as I suspected. It must be from my most recent battle. <laughs> you should see the other man. He got the worst of it. Worse than... I suppose it's possible, yes. If he is headless. My arms are numb from battle. Does it need any dressing? Do you think it is a serious wound? Good drinker. You have an axe in your head. It is grim. I will take it out. But you will surely head off to the next realm soon. Ah. Valhalla it is. I appreciate your candid response. Now I prepare myself for the sights and sounds of the Corpse Hall. I will relieve you of the pain it gives you, send you down the Bifrost. It is time. You know, there's... All your enemies have been slain. Now you rejoice. between Dagolas and I. A man that... Hey, child. Your home is cursed with shit. I wish I could laugh, but... I cannot. Yes, that rank odor is from the devil. The devil who produced me with this prick. Oh, that smell. He dips his arrows in cow dung and never washes. Says it brings him luck. We're doomed to choke in father's shit house. The cow dung he keeps is in those crates. It has mutated into the most unholy of pungent monsters. Oh, oh. These berries are the only thing keeping Need me alive. Careful. In the face of such a vile smell. Be careful in there, stranger. The smell could kill you. <coughs> Easy now. Something's not right. <laughs> Stink from those crates is gone. But in my experience, if you do not cure the source, shit returns. My father, Digolas, he's a famous archer, but he never washes. Never. I'm going to confront him. That pox. 
Mother, I'm going to get father back. I've had enough. Change is in the air. Literally. <laughs> Secret warrior shit has run off! Mother, you won't believe it! Father has been cleansed! We can live without the toxic clouds he once produced! Thanks the good lord! Baptized again, my beautiful Degolas. My love, you are finally clean! Our home also! Come here, my love, I can see your skin again! How does it feel to be clean again, Digoless? This clean feeling is strange to me. I was happy as a degenerate mudball. I never worried about these vain ventures. Your desires are not always those of your gods, your family, and your, well, those you lie with. I feel I've sold my war yourself. The grime inspired my bow. My shit arrows would strike fear into my foe's nose. Well, I'm certain your arrows will still fly true. You did not lose your archer's skill. Only time will tell. Be well, stranger. <laughs> That's not what I was expecting. Fire is a blessing to one who has traveled far. To he who enters from the cold with frozen legs in need of food and clothing. Alfheimer, you say? Have you drunk a seer's concoction? No. I am as blind as they come. However, the light elves guide me through this realm, and I sense it. The path is fraught with delight. Energies the light elves dropped. And at the end, the third paradise. Wind blew. The wind blew? Higher than all the realms. Higher than Valhalla itself. I use the magic balls of Muspel, lit by the Light Elves to guide me. We will see the wind blue together. Please illuminate the path into Elf. Ah. I sense the Light Elves. The luxury of their strong souls. Here they are. Are you from here? I hail from Zeeland. Joined Guthrum on his march through the swamps. But losing my eyes, they left me behind. Please. Your family? Friends? They are back in Zeeland. But no need. I have the Light Elves whom love and care for me now. We are close. So close. 
From here, a final leg to this journey. Yes, here. This is the path. The wind blew is across the Swan Road. I can see it. The river Steed will be needed to cross. Careful now. We don't want to attract any unwanted attention from the Dark Elves. Oh, how they haunt me. You were right about those Dark Elves. Froden! The Dark Elves have returned! Offer ah, them no mercy! Burst their skulls into ah, small crumbs! Cut their large ears off! <laughs> Something useful! Please let me find the wind You'll blue! You foul dark oh, elves are ruining it! Have your wind blew now, in peace, old Drenger. Ah, yes. The realm is safe. For now. Hey, Drenger. Of lands, old man. Those rats. I tried everything. I poured lye, I harvested locusts, I hired children to kill them. I need an army of miracles. They are pesky and have ravaged your good crop. Nah, the gods can't get at rats. Ha! You heathens and your gods. All I want is to rid my field of rats. Feed the fair folk of the Shire. You need natural warriors to keep them at bay. My poor fields. God, why did you send... Shoot! Shoot! Stop! I feel your army of cats have a destiny unrealized. You are a Freya of the Fens. What? Who the hell is Freya? Is she the whore that tried to eat my cat queen last week? She's a goddess, much like you, with pious and mighty cats that help her fight. Show your claws, good lady. Oh yes, mighty. That is what they are. And me, their goddess. Hmm. If you want, use this key and see for yourself. Oh, my pretty babies. There you are. Head to the fields. Tut tut. Fight your battle. They should get some air. I guess I am. Like this Freya you spoke of. I should release them and use them as warriors. <gasps> oh. 
pets are sacred beings. They help keep harmony. Your rat problem has been taken care of, pray to Freya. I never thought the meow of cats could soothe my soul. Take this key. In my house I have some goods. Please help yourself. Kingdom of Nurthex. I am King Equald. This is your kingdom, you say? Indeed it is. Nurthex. And I am its first and reigning king, Equald. And as sovereign, I seek a keen ally to secure my strength. Kingdom? This island here? Yes, from shore to shore. My brothers and I came upon this unclaimed land some months ago and found it suited to our ambitions. Sadly, my brothers were drowned in a terrible squall soon after, along with our riches. There was an arm ring among them. To you, I offer this arm ring in exchange for my loyalty. Find the ring among the wreck, and you may call a king your friend. Good arm ring can be as important as blood to the heart. If I find it, I will let you know. I found your arm ring, amidst the wreckage of your ship. By all that is great, I cannot believe my eyes and ears! Now you are pledged to the Kingdom of Northex. That will show him. I am honored to forge an alliance with your stock, King Eckwald of Norsex. Long may you reign. Thank you. As you are pledged to me, I am pledged to you. If ever I have an army to lend, you may make use of it. Let the wind tickle my skin forever! I made you what you are! My principles led to your great nudity! To all tyrants of God, um, let it be known you are vile garment mongers. Why are you naked? Because my uncompromising lack of clothes brings me joy. Yet my very own sect of pious nudists tossed me aside. Nudists? Those who bear their skin for pleasure. Indeed, we, we bear our skin at all times. In the tradition of great Greeks and Romans. Yet some say I am too... Enthusiastic. Nude in prayer, at meal times, at work, in the streets and alehouses, everywhere. For Jesus loves us best as we were born. But the group I founded has expelled me. Oh, if I could exact revenge, steal their clothes and render them nude forever, I would. This endeth no! <laughs> Gorgeous. Greetings, Dane. This is our private celebration of skin. We are open to all who strip. Would you join us? 
I would be honored to join your group. Where do I place my clothes so I can start dancing? Wonderful! A new member. Simply place your clothes in that crate hidden by the tent and partake in the liberation. There's a fresh god. Oh, that's the crate where we put our clothes. Just put your... Hey! Our clothes! Leave them! Stupid thief! Scar thief! Good. Vengeance is ours! Now you're nude forever, as Winchell wanted. Now they will adhere to your principles. Yes! You have carried out my revenge. Wonderful. Now they must revel in their nudeness forever. If you like, I have a luminous text with my teachings. A breviary of why one must trust their body's exposed sinew. Enjoy. Be well, Winchell the chest free. You, Dane, come closer. What do you want? You look to be a good fighter, but do you dare to face the greatest battle you will ever know? Of what do you speak? I speak of a terrible and monstrous incorporeal power whose name is feared across these lands. Fergal the Faceless, the most fearsome flighter in all of Grantbridgeshire. Oh. Ooh. A flighter, is that all? Fergal the Faceless has silenced doubters before. Will you challenge him? I will face the Faceless. <gasps> My god. You are braver than most. Or perhaps more foolish. Come, I will give you a key. This key unlocks Fergal's lair, which you see now before you. That's a house. No, no. It is a den of nightmares. A pit of death from which few have ever escaped unharmed. By words. Unharmed by words. Go. Go now. And God be with you. <laughs> A new victim? What fool dares to challenge the might of Fergal the Faceless? Eivor of the Raven Clan. Eivor of the Raven Clan? My next meal. Are you prepared to be eviscerated with words? I think I will survive. I am Fergal the Faceless, and I am clever and strong. But you're not. You're ugly and weak, and you're a big smelly coward. You're probably too scared to even face me, now that I think about it. Sorry, have you started? Yes, obviously. I said you're probably too scared to face me.
But your rhythm is clumsy. You'll never outpace me. Ah, you think you can win with rhyme, do you? Well, if you like to rhyme, listen this time. I'm very brave. My flighting is grave. I'm not a knave, and it's victory that I really crave. Your tongue is fat. You're a sprat. You whine like a little brat. And we are in a spat. All my life, I've not heard of a flighting so flat. Oh, you've made a terrible mistake. Be ready for my finishing blow. I am the best at flighting. I have got powerful skills. I'm strong as an ox and clever as a fox. I'm sharp as a dozen hawks. Let me show you my skills, and then you I shall kill dead with my... my skill. If we're arguing as to your talent, I shall happily die on this hill. You... Uh, well, I... Uh, just one moment. I, I... I need to think. Give me time. Fergal the Faceless or Fergal the Wordless? No, you get ready. The killing blow is... It's coming. It's... Fergal? Hello? Only me back wasn't knotted like a dying oak. You have lost your apples. But I have. Oh, a devilish wind took me over, and I worry for them. But I've saved the finest and the juiciest. Oh, these apples explode in your mouth with the iridescent light of Jesus. What makes them special? An apple is an apple. No. Oh, I beg to differ, my friend. You see, every year we make the pilgrimage to the West. Hammer's farm. Farmer Hammer, to the west. Yes, we call him the Hammer, and his apples are fine. Have this sweet iron tinge in them. My friends have already made it back. They are surely feasting already, but... I fell on some misfortune. The cart busted. Oh, me apple cart hath fallen! These apples must be eaten, they're too juicy to be left to rot! Thomas and Philly... Oh, eternal thanks for carrying the crates. I'll be happy to share in the bounty of these apples with you, once we meet up with your friend. Oh, surely. We will share the Lord's work with you. The iron tinge, you will taste it. We all have earned it after fasting. Fasting? Is that when you lack food for your God? Yes, we show our devotion, remove distraction. But now, we give in to the fruits of our Creator's work. Sharing an apple with a friend is the most sublime experience. Oh... Oh. <laughs> it is nice to sometimes sit back and simply enjoy an apple. Well, with our fortune always changing in life, it's important to enjoy simple pleasures. <laughs> oh, I am so excited for you to see my friend and eat apples with us. <laughs> the act of walking, the pilgrimage we're going on. We will prostrate ourselves for Guthlack at the end of this glorious pilgrimage. Drown in his reward. Here we are, our tiny sanctuary. Join in prayer for the apples, if you like. We bob. Bob? It is the only way to piously reap the reward of our Holy Father. Praise be to him. Nequesape malale complexiones agnus de... Oh, Brother Hornswolf! And you've made a friend as well! Good to have you back!
glorious basher of fools, full of great big scars and old... Oh, such a fine wallop it is! Little ones, what is this wallop you speak of? It's our grandfather, and be careful unless you want a walloping. I am certain my might could clove his wallop. Many cowards have said the same. He uses only one fist, one wallop, boom! Like a wolf, howling with its knuckles. Well, this wallop has me curious. Ha! Good. Destiny is coming to your plate. Grandfather, there's someone looking for a walloping! Hello! Yes, I have overwhelmingly powerful strength, but it is not worth talking about. If you are a dringer, we should tell stories of battle, swill a cup of mead around a hearth, and share our wisdom. You want some wisdom? Don't become a hero like I have. I'm cursed with this wallop. These children have made me curious. Your calm demeanor even more so. Oh, I beg you. There's no need for this to go where I feel you think it should. <laughs> you best depart unless you desire your face become a fist cave. Children, stop saying such things. I do not want to use it. I truly wish to see this wallop. I will break it with my humble fists. Oh, neither of us will enjoy this, I'm afraid. You're finished. Don't say I didn't warn you. The disappointment you will feel, I also feel. There you have it, as promised. Banal victory for me and my wallop. Oh, still unbeaten. Why, God? Come back if you want another taste of my endless victory. I know I don't want you to. Beware. Aye, I have returned. I see. Yes, this... Aid me, O oh Lord. Don't say I didn't warn you. The disappointment you will feel, I also feel. So goes my day. Down you go. I've never been bested before. I'm shocked. Stunned. I never thought it possible. You have thwarted my wallop. You may have access to the treasure my wallop has sadly gifted me over the years. Various awards oh. for bashing skulls. Oh, I feel liberated of my legacy. Now I can live the normal life that has forever eluded me. Thank the heavens. The treasure he promised. His wallop won him an ocean of riches. Hmm. The children kept the collection of those he had walloped. here. Invisible. It is my hard work! I built the silo and manage our trade deals. Oh! The barley in that silo was watered by my blood and sweat! Yes, and you get your share of silver when I sell it. But you keep most of it! Of the thousand you made last month, I got a measly two hundred! 
I deserve the extra profit. I secured the sale and managed the tax. Endless hours of negotiating. You there, Dane. Who deserves more? The worker who makes the barley, or he who actually sells it? The silver should be shared equally. How am I to be encouraged to make all of these deals? My endless hustle, the paperwork, he couldn't sell his own eye. The barley would never even exist without me. My barley is known across Mercia and Essex. Sebi's slush. My soul is in the mug. Hmm. The situation <sighs> is strained between Real these two brothers. Life. Have we become reduced to animals? What have we become reduced to animals? What have we become reduced to animals? Ugh, such a sad laborer. Without my wits, we'd be batting vultures away. Across Mercia, people know us because of me. Ugh. Such a sad library. Without my wits, we'd be batting vultures away. Across Mercy, people know us because of me. Jeez, All they do is squabble. I remember a time when the barley brought us joy. We praised it, smelled it, rubbed it against our bellies. <laughs> mm. I wish our parents would get along like they used to. Before, when there was no silo. And we all shared the barley. Seems silly to think who gets more or what. We have enough. They just fight like dogs. Dogs who forgot why they're even barking in the first place. Hi, good farmer. I don't know what to do. I have such anger in me. Take a breath, drink some ale, and enjoy your hard work. No amount of silver is worth a broken friendship. Impossible, I'm afraid. When my blood boils, the world must know. In my home, there is only one way to settle this honorably. A home gang. You're right. Bollocks to him. I'll pummel him. Give him a taste of a laborer's fist. Fucker! Come out and fight me! You think I am stealing profits from you? You are stealing dignity from me. If I must raise my fists, I shall. Oh, I shall. Suffer. All they do is squabble. I remember a time when the barley brought us joy. We praised it. Smell. This should rid them of what ails them. There is no other way. One triple single job is plenty for me. Oh my goodness. Our estate is. Children, has your family always been this quarrelsome? Yes, they have. But I hope that has changed thanks to your intervention. Even if it was drastic. Thank you. Oh my goodness. No, Our estate is aflame. <laughs> My barley. I can. S What battle spit you out? The guilty have come for spoils. Was our dignity not enough? You return again to mock our family? To make light of my father's sacrifice? <coughs> Mad Seer, you have no fight with me. Which of the traitor kings sent you? 
was a champion. Bull bitch. I followed the orders of no king, nor will I bow to you. You dare intrude? You skinned like the others! I will tear you apart! A lucky strike! Thank you. 